Picture this. You're sitting eating dinner in a restaurant with some of your friends on a Friday night. You're deep into conversation when in the distance you hear shouting. You look up and you see a group of demonstrators walking down the street yelling and holding flags that say Black Lives Matter. The group is loud, but you don't have a problem with what you think they are saying. Of course, black lives matter. You agree with that completely. It seems obvious to you. You're against racism. You've never mistreated anyone because of his race. You're not a bad person. So at first, it doesn't occur to you that this mob of angry people might be angry at you. Why would they be? But then suddenly, the mob is there at your table, screaming in your face, throwing chairs, smashing glasses, sweeping cutlery to the floor, threatening to kill you. Within seconds, you're running for your life. That happens in our country now. It happened this weekend in Rochester. Here's what it looked like. What did those people eating dinner in Rochester do wrong? No one ever said. No one ever does. Or how about this elderly couple in Pittsburgh? They tried to get something to drink at an outdoor cafe over the weekend. Watch what happened. Well, the white people that built the system said it against mine. You all F you, old man, screams the BLM protester and gives him the finger. A female protester strides up and guzzled the, the old woman's drink. Why? Because she can. The ultimate humiliation. So what exactly did the elderly couple do to deserve the abuse you just saw? What was their crime? If you listen to BLM, you know the answer. They live in America. They work and pay taxes. They support a system that systematically murders people. In effect, they're war criminals, guards in the world's largest concentration camp. That's BLM's position. Increasingly, it is the position of the Democratic Party and the position of our compliant news media. You hear it everywhere. What's amazing is how cynical it is. People who say this don't even pretend to believe it. They ignore their own slogans. If you really thought America was a white supremacist dystopia, a place where people of color get murdered just for going outdoors, as the Democratic platform suggests is true, then you probably wouldn't encourage millions of non-white immigrants to move here. You'd be too worried about their safety. Bringing in people from Africa, for example, would be tantamount to premeditated murder. You wouldn't want that on your conscience. Of course, in real life, it's all fake. The opposite is true, in fact. Africans thrive in this country. Nigerian immigrants to the United States earn more money on average than native-born Americans. Nigerian immigrants are also more likely to get college degrees than people who grew up here. If what BLM is telling us is true, how could this happen? Well, because they're lying. For the overwhelming majority of lower-income Americans, melanin is not the main barrier to advancement. Education and social class are. 